Yo, here is a artist right here. I don't know if he's a YouTube rapper. I don't know what he is, but he's been highly requested and this is his first time on the channel. So I'm hyped. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Ayano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right-hand corner. Now, today's request is another Patreon request. We're still going through the first round of Patreon requests. I didn't know I was gonna get this many, but I'm getting to all of them. This one comes from Andrew, and this is AK Family Tree. Andrew, like I tell everybody else, man, I appreciate you throwing some dollars my way in order to get your request in and also to make sure that I can fulfill where where this channel is gonna go. Patreon is the only way that I'm making money to be able to support myself full time. So thank you for being over there. Thanks for being a member of the Patreon. Everybody else, even if you're not at the tier that Andrew's at, I appreciate you being a member. And anybody that wants to check out Patreon, it's the first link down in the description. I would greatly appreciate it. But that's it. We're gonna hop right on into this because I have zero idea what to expect. I don't know the type of artist he is. I don't know, I, literally zero about this song and him. So I'm high. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. And we got Family Tree by AK. Let's get it. <clears throat> Think about where all your inspiration comes from. Is he from your generation? If he's Ooh. not, I'm sure you probably hate it. But ask yourself, would you have even made it? If it wasn't for him. Hold up, hold up, is that Wayne on his face? Bro, that's fucking sick as he's talking about his inspirations, that's dope, and yo, his voice for like, for singing is, is solid. If he's not, I'm sure you probably hate it, but ask yourself what you have that's even bad, made. Uh, if it wasn't for him, and everybody else before him, and before him, and before him. Nah. That is fucking, oh, did his face switch again? I can't tell that who that is. That looks like Missy Elliott, but I'm not too sure. But yo, his voice, the instrumental, how clean the music video is, and just like the whole, bro, re pay respects to the artist before you, even if it's not, even if the one artist before you and you don't like the artist from the previous generation, that artist could have inspired the dude that inspired you. So pay respect to everybody that came before you because you are who you are because of that. That's fire, and, and obviously I get the, now I get the name of the song, Family Tree. It's not necessarily about family per se, it's just, it's that same like starting from a certain spot and then trickling all the way down to who you are. That's fucking, this is, it's fucking tight. And everybody else before him, and before him, and before him. That's dope. Cause you would never make it if it wasn't for him. He knows before him, and before him, and before yeah. him. That was clearly Eminem that was coming through on like the next face. You could you could see it in his facial structure. Just the whole idea of the song is fucking fire, dog. You would have never made it. You say that you made it on your own, but you would have never made it because you would have never even took this path if it wasn't for the one that was before your if it wasn't before the person that inspired you and before that person got inspired by somebody else, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Like the inspiration, there's it's like a butterfly effect. One little thing changes and all that inspiration could go out the window. It's dope, dog. And this whole switching faces vibe, it's, I already forgot what his normal face looks like. I am AK, I am not the next M. But everybody telling me that I'm the next him. But understand there will never be a next M. You'll probably twist my words and say I don't respect him. I always uh, preach to keep it. Fire, dog. He says, I'm, they say I'm gonna be the next M. And you'll probably twist my words to say, like, to make it sound like I was dissing him when I said that I'm not gonna be the next M because there is no other Eminem. There's only the people that Eminem inspired. I already feel like I'm not gonna recognize all these faces as they change just because it's still keeping, it's keeping his face structure obviously because it's like like a mask that he's putting on i guess you could say but dope deep fakes but understand there will never be a next m you'll probably twist my words and say i don't respect him i always preach to keep it real so i'm about to now M did not influence me because i was not allowed to Ooh. listen to him my parents said i was just a child i wondered why and i look back and i got it now my young mind See, I don't know like who this face is, but yo, it's dope what he's saying. Like, there's no way that I'll be the next M and I'm gonna keep it real. I wasn't even inspired by Eminem. 
because his parenting was good enough to say like, yo, you're not allowed to listen to Eminem because he is clearly, clearly not the artist for, for a younger generation or for someone whose m minds are so malleable, you know what I'm saying? And that's why Eminem says in, in, in My Dad's Gone Crazy, that's pretty much the gist of it. Parents are pissed, but the kids love it. Nine millimeter heater stash and two seaters with meat cleavers. I don't blame you. I wouldn't let Haley listen to me neither. Same thing for me. Like my parents said that I couldn't listen to Eminem and then like I still did anyway because of the rebellious nature of like you say that I can't well I'm going to and obviously Eminem inspired me and my my passion for music and all that but that's dope and I don't know who this face is y'all gonna have to clue me in on these faces the ones that I can't recognize to listen to when my parents said I was just a child I wondered why and I look back and I got it now my young mind back then probably wasn't ready to hear the shit that he talked about they said he was too edgy I couldn't listen to anything younger me he was begging I couldn't wait to hear the song about his mama spaghetti his influence <laughs> I couldn't wait to hear the song about his mama spaghetti bro and, and lose yourself his palms are sweaty knees weak arms are heavy there's vomit on the sweater already my spaghetti he's nervous Duh, that's fire. His mama spaghetti, his Ooh. influence on me was indirect. Cause I was listening to Hopson, I was obsessed. I come to find he was the same way when it came to M. That's when it hit me. This culture's a family tree and this shit affects the whole game from the beginning till I'm hitting old days. Dog, dog, he's fucking spitting that shit, son. He's like, yo, I wasn't directly, I was indirectly influenced by M because I'm sure M influenced Hopson and I was influenced by Hopson. And when I realized that we had that one little triangle, this whole shit is not like linear it's whole it's a whole family tree and he's in the younger generation of this rap family fucking fire dog this culture's a family tree and this shit affects the whole game from the beginning till i'm hitting old age because even after when i'm gone kids come up with more flames and all this feed the industry with songs that bring in more rage who's that who's that who's that Bro, I, that looks like that looks like K Dot. That looks like Kendrick Lamar, but I can't tell. I'm getting distracted by the faces because I'm not. I'm like trying to listen to the lyrics, but I'm also trying to figure out who 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 he has on his face. Game from the beginning till I'm hitting old age. Cause even after when I'm gone, kids come up with more flames and artists Ooh. lead the industry with songs that bring in more rage. Cause they just hate the fact the era of sounds mm. evolving. But where would they be if it wasn't for him? Duh. That whole fucking verse was fire. He's like, I realize it's a fucking family tree and they hate to see that the sound's evolving and people are gonna keep putting out more and more flames even long after I'm gone. And I say this a lot of times because because I like, obviously I'm kind of like in between, I'm like in that middle child like J. Cole between the new generation and the old generation. The new generation got spitters that the old generation just couldn't even imagine because the older generation, the older generation was evolving from the generation before them and, and they are better spitters than anybody in the generation before them and people are just mad that it's gonna keep going like there's people today people today that are lower on the tier and what you would consider like in like a great the greatest of all time but they are better writers they are better rappers than some of the more iconic people over here from back in the day the pioneers in like the 90s and early 2000s that's just the way the game goes people are gonna get more complex with the pen it's just a sign of the times everything everything grows everything goes forward you know from a technical standpoint there are a lot of people today that are better than the people in the 90s in 2000s and and i don't say that lightly just hate the fact the era of sounds evolving but where would they be if it wasn't for him and everybody else before him and before him and before him it's fire dog because you would never make it who's that schoolboy q Nah, it's not Q, right? I, I'm gonna get all these wrong just because the the facial shape isn't isn't the same. Also, has anybody realized since the time that we've had been have to be wearing masks during the pandemic how fucking important the lower half of the face is? Like, bro, the lower half of the face could take you from an eight to a six, like fucking instantly. And I say that as like a six and a half. Cause you would never make it if it wasn't for him. You know, before him and before him. Hey, that's J. Cole, I could tell right there, but yo, the hook is so simple and the melody is so like, I have it memorized already. And before him, and before him, I, once Cole became my idol, I was looking for Ooh. his, found out Nas was the reason that he did what he did. And uh, found out Nas, hey, that song Let Nas Down, that's one of J. Cole's best tracks. Dion called me when the drop sounded sad and sincere, said Nas heard your single and he hate that shit. Said you the one, yo, why you make that shit? I can't believe I let Nas down. I got defensive on the phone, resentment was in my tone, fuck it. But it's dope how he talked about Eminem in the first verse, and he had M's face on, and now we have J. Cole's facial features and structure on, on him as he's talking about how when he found J. Cole, he wanted to know who his idol was, and Nas was his idol. Once Cole 
became my idol, I was looking for his Found out Nas was the reason that he did what he did So I was looking up his classic, trying to find all his hits To see what spoke to Cole so I can grow, he know I was a kid <laughs> That's Nas's face right there. That's dope that now we're talking about Nas as he went through all of his old records and Illmatic and Stillmatic and all those is fire. Up his classic, trying to find all his hits to see what spoke to Cole so I can grow. He know I was a kid. <laughs> Illmatic, still classic. I feel that shit even though it dropped five years before the world had me. Shit was blessing the next king of this real rap shit. I don't hate the new generation. No, I love it. Let's make that clear happen. I got it off of my chest now that you... See, look, I don't know who this is either. I thought it was Luda for a second, but then as the face actually like came to, I don't know. It's dope that it's dope whenever you see someone who's so young be a student of the game. Like he understands why Nas is is his idol's idol, even though like Illmatic and Stillmatic were both released probably, what did he say, five years before he was even birthed? Like, yo. Shit was blessing the next king of this real rap shit. I don't hate the new generation, no, I love it. Let's make that clear happen. I got it off of my chest, now the truth is out. Look, already I can see all the fans that I'm losing now. Just because I fuck with Pum Roddy Rich and Lil Uzi sound, if you don't like it, then don't listen. It's simple, I'm cruising around in the Civic. Yo, who is this? Who is this? But it's dope that he's talking about like, yo, I can bump the old and the new. Like it's all, we, we're all connected through the same thing. We're all a family tree, no matter how distant mumble rap or whatever you want to call it, Lil Uzi, all them, like no matter how distant and far they are from Nas and Illmatic, like we all stem from the same family tree. That's fire. In the Civic, just wondering on how it be if they listen. They see that they got it twisted and all these kids they've been dissing all this time have been gifted. I'm just minding my business. Shit, I'm blind to the situation. I plead the fit, the whole must for No, you hear that flow? Ah, da, 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 like that, that he's got that internal rhyme scheme with the with the rhyme at the end of the phrase. Fire, dog. He's spitting bars and he's talking that real shit. Like just because, just because I fuck over here, just fuck with over here, doesn't mean I can't fuck with over here. Like you know, not everything's got to be lyrical miracle all the time. You know what I'm saying? And he says, if you don't like it, you don't listen. It's simple. Like that's the same mentality that I had whenever everybody was talking shit or like whenever everybody's trying to come down on Eminem for all the things he was saying in the early 2000s. Like, bro, if you don't like it, just fucking don't listen. It's not that not that difficult. I'm blind to the situation. I plead the fit. The old must respect the new. The new must respect the old. If you were young and coming up, but you been hating on what's old, do your homework, learn the game, watch the way this shit's evolved. Without the old, your biggest idol, you would never even know. If it wasn't for- Nah, that was 50 right here. And that was dope when he fucking said like, yo, just like all the new kids respecting the old, like do your fucking homework. Understand why why the old heads have the respect. Even if you even if you don't like their music, understand where they came from and why they are as big as they are because you wouldn't fucking be here if it wasn't for that person being the idol of the person that was the idol of the person that you idolized to, to even start rapping. Duh, that's such a fire concept. Without the old, your biggest idol, you would never even know. Ooh. If it wasn't for him, and everybody else before him, and before him, and before him. Fire. Cause you would never make- Hey, Drizzy Drake on that face, boy. You could tell by the eyebrows being like way the fuck over here. You know what I'm saying? And then the one right after uh, 50 Cent was uh, was uh, fucking Jigga. Cause you would never make it if it wasn't for him. He knows before him and before him and Dog. before him. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that right there might be one of the coldest tracks that I've ever heard. And it's, and it's cold for like all these fucking different reasons. Obviously the music video makes it cold as fuck. And uh, you know what I appreciate about the music video is that it's no like, it's just not your typical type of music video. It's not gonna be like all this flash. It's not gonna be these crazy transitions. It's literally just one take, him rapping and singing. They just put like, they deep, they, they uh, what is it called? Deep faked all these voices on top of his face all these voices, all these faces on top of his face. And there was conceptual idea behind it. And it's black, like it's just a super simple video. Sometimes simplicity is the most complex. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I was not, I was not expecting this for the track. I was not expecting this for the music video. I don't know, honestly, I didn't know what I was expecting because it's my first track ever hearing of him. But obviously that's not gonna stay the way it is for long. This is gonna be a track that's on the fucking iPod, dog. Yo, Andrew, fire fucking requests, dog. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing because those things help the, help the channel get seen and get out there. And you know, just the bigger the channel gets, all the activity helps. 
Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. Hit up the Discord also down in the description below. But that's all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.